When you're building a new WordPress website, it's often the small finishing touches that really make the distinction between a professional finish and amateur hour. Hi, my name's Dan, and you're watching WP Update. So, you're building a brand new site, you're setting up the base theme and want to make sure it looks super professional for the people managing the content. Whether the WordPress site is an internal platform or for a client, there's a few super easy things that you can do to really give it some polish. You can use a drag and drop builder like Visual Composer or Avia, a plugin that allows you to co-brand your WordPress dashboard, and you can brand the WordPress login page. And that's what we'll be concentrating on today. So let's get started. Now, as with all WP Update tutorials, you can find example code in our GitHub repository at github.com forward slash WP Update. Now, as you can see, we have a standard WordPress login page in our empty demo. Firstly, we'll need to prepare a logo. I'm using Photoshop for this, but you can use any decent photo editor. If you're on a budget, I suggest the GNU Image Manipulation Program, available at GIMP.org. You want to create an image as a transparent PNG with the background cut out. This will help when we set the background image later in the video. For ease of implementation, make your logo no wider than 320 pixels. And if you can keep it under 80 pixels high, that will also help. Next, we need to decide on the background. The background of your page can be a plain color, can be a gradient or an image. I typically like to pick something that reflects the homepage of the website that I'm building. If there's a slider on the homepage, you can use an image from that. If you have a corporate style guide to work from, a simple background color or gradient might suffice. Now for this exercise, I'm using a free image from Pixabay. Let's, uh, let's just find something now. That one will do the job, let me just download it. then resize and optimize it a bit. Okay, so that's the images prepared. Let's go to the WordPress child theme folder that was created in the WP Update video, creating a WordPress child theme. We'll start by creating a new folder inside the child theme called assets. Next, create another folder inside assets called IMG, short for image. 
And while this isn't strictly necessary, doing this helps to keep the child theme neat and tidy. So it's easier to tweak and maintain later down the track. Okay, copy the logo and background image if you have one into the new image folder. Then back up to the child theme folder now and we create a new file called login.css. Okay, so that's the base style sheet and assets in place. Now we need to uncue the script. This is done by injecting a call into the login style sheet into the logins page head. So open your functions.php file, create a new function called custom login styles. And don't forget to comment, it makes things much easier later. Add the stylesheet link, uh, be sure to use the stylesheet directory call. and the hook. And then save. And so we can see if this has been called correctly, we're going to change the background color of the login screen to something that will stand out. So that's body.background. And we'll set the background color rule to red. Mm. Ah, sorry, that's body.login. Okay, if we have this right, we'll be able to see a red background when we look at the WordPress login page. And that looks to have done the trick. Now, onto the logo. So let's go back to login.css, uh, the file we created before, and then target the logo anchor by entering body.login div hash login and note the lack of spacing there then h1 and a and add a background image tag and add the url of the logo we created before relative to the path of the cs uh, the login css file Next, adjust the background size and the link width. And get rid of the very loud background color. And test. Okay, great, that's the logo in. Next, let's sort out the background. 
So if you have an image to insert, add the background image call again relative to the login.css path. Next, set the background repeat, position, and finally the size. And we're using cover, which ensures the image stretches to fit but maintains its constraints. Okay, sensational. I spotted a problem though. Uh, those links are a little difficult to read, so let's tweak those. So there can be up to three distinct links here. The back to blog link, the main navigation link, and a privacy page link if you have one set. So let's add some rules for those. Okay, so let's start with login, hash, then back to blog. And we'll target the anchor link and then login hash nav and the main link for that one. And then finally the privacy link login dot. And let me just check that. I think it is privacy policy page and then the A link from there. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll set the color to something a bit more readable for this type of background. We'll also grab the text shadow while we're here too. Uh, just need to make it something basic, but I, uh, WordPress has text shadow set, so we need to set it to override it. Otherwise, it'll just be this weird blue. Yep, that's the opacity. And let's um, let's give it a nice transition as well. Uh, 0 0.2 seconds should do it, just stops it being from uh, being so sharp. Great, let's take a look. Okay, well that's an improvement, uh, but it's still a little bit, nah, we need to capture those hovers and the actives while we're at it. So just go through that. I'm just using control C and control V to copy the different lines and make it a little bit easier to get through it rather than having to retype everything. If you're using the PHP Storm IDE like I am or most of the Java based ones, you can also use control D to duplicate the line. Just finish off that last active and take another look. All right, well, that's an improvement, but the shadow's still a little bit funky on the hover, so we might have to put an extra override in there. So I'll just grab all of the hovers and then stick an extra text shadow in. All right, let's make it the same color, but uh, a touch darker. So quickly copy that. 
over and then um, set it to 0.5. There we go. I think we're pretty good there. Let's take a uh, take a bit of a look. Okay, well that looks great. Okay, so there's one more minor thing though. Uh, the logo is still pointing at WordPress.org, so it would be nice if that took the user back to the home page. So let's go back to functions.php and we'll create a new function called custom login logo URL. We'll make that return the site's homepage. And again, don't forget to comment. And while we're here, let's make custom login logo URL title. And have it return the website's title. And then we can sit back and admire our work. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.